There was no Grey Cup redemption for Bolivar Mitchell and the Calgary Stampeders. Mitchell threw three touchdown passes as Calgary embarrassed Toronto 41-7 at BMO Field in the first meeting between the teams since the Argonauts' 27-24 Grey Cup win in November. Argonauts QB Ricky Ray gets medical attention after a hit in the third quarter of Saturday night's home opener against the Stampeders. Ray left on a stretcher and was taken to hospital. Cole Burston, the Canadian press, Mitchell improved his career regular season record against the Double Blue to 9-0 while guiding the Stampeders to their ninth consecutive regular season victory over the defending champions. I would have thought about it more if it was game one of the season, more like Ottawa two years ago and we had to play them twice, said Mitchell. To me, you're thinking about Hamilton all off-season, all training camp, so to me it kind of lost that luster of it, it was just us going out there and beating a football team today, article continued below Calgary opened its season last week downing Hamilton 28-14, Toronto also lost starter Ricky Ray late in the third. After being sandwiched between two Stampeders defenders, Ray received on-field medical treatment before being placed on a backboard, then a stretcher with his neck immobilized and leaving on a cart following roughly a 20-minute delay. Ray was taken to a Toronto hospital. A club official said it was purely for precautionary reasons, he'll get an MRI and those type of things but I'm encouraged by what the doctors had to say. Toronto head coach Mark Tressman said. I'm not a doctor so we'll have to wait until the medical information is in, but I'm going to be optimistic at this point. Calgary head coach Dave Dickinson echoed those sentiments, I've been told it was a bit more precautionary and I'm glad our people do that. Dickinson said. I like Ricky, always have, and didn't like seeing that, it was a hard-fought game, things can happen, but fingers crossed. I believe he'll bounce back. We'll see what happens, article continued below Ray, who was seen moving his fingers, completed 12 of 17 passes for 74 yards. He was replaced by James Franklin, who scored Toronto's lone TD on a 10-yard run at 9-11 of the fourth. It's always scary to see a guy you've played with for six years take a hit like that, said veteran Argos tackle Chris Van Zayl, and then see him hurt. My heart was broken. It makes you question a lot of things. Mitchell improved his career regular season record to the 2nd of October 58 and the 2nd of March 27 versus East Division teams. Rookie running back Don Jackson ran for 123 yards on 9 carries, while Eric Rogers registered 5 catches for 131 yards and 2 TDs. Mitchell finished 20 of 22 for 324 yards before giving way to Nick Arbuckle in the fourth, he was on fire, made a lot of good reads and plays with his feet. Dickinson said of his starter. He's also happy to get Mr. Rogers back in the neighborhood and that was nice, but I'd have to say, Mitchell stayed within himself, he didn't force the ball, he took the checkdowns. He did the things we know if he does we're a dang good offense, and it looked like that tonight, Calgary also registered its sixth straight road win over Toronto. The Argos last beat the Stampeders on Sept. 21, 2013 and their last home victory against them came July 7, 2012, Toronto has opened with two straight losses for the first time since 2002. Ray lost his seventh straight start against the Stamps and dropped to 14 to 23 all time against them before a home opening crowd of 16,450, roughly 1,550 short of a sellout with the Upper East Balcony closed. Toronto will have time to regroup heading into a bye week. We've got to find ourselves, Tressman said. The first two weeks, we still don't know who we are. What we've seen in practice hasn't been reflected on the field for most of the first two games. We are really have to regroup and start over. After gaining just 69 first-half yards, Toronto opened the second half turning the ball over on downs. Franklin was stopped on a third-and-one gamble at the Calgary 49-yard line. 
Calgary responded with Mitchell's 10-yard TD strike to Rogers at 5.33 to go ahead 27-1. Arbuckle, Devaris Daniels and Terry Williams, on a 102-yard punt return, had Calgary's other TDs. Rene Paredes had five converts and two field goals, boosting his streak to 15 straight. Ronnie Pfeffer added a single for Toronto. Calgary experienced a deja vu moment in the second, leading 10-0 and at the Toronto 15-yard line. Argos defensive back Ronnie Yell recovered Mitchell's fumble and looked like he had a clear path to a touchdown. But receiver Kamar Jordan ran Yell down and eventually tackled him at the Calgary 20-yard line. That was huge because Toronto never scored as the snap on Pfeffer's 21-yard field goal was high and holder Jimmy Ralph fumbled while scrambling. In last year's Grey Cup game, Toronto tied Calgary 24-24 when Cassius Vaughn returned a fumble 110 yards for the TD and Declan Cross scored a two-point convert at 10-25 of the fourth. That set up Liram Haralahu's eventual game-winning kick from 32 yards out with 53 seconds remaining. This time, though, Calgary countered with Mitchell's 18-yard TD strike to Rogers at 5.28 for a 17-0 advantage. I was pretty upset with myself and I'm watching the guy run and I'm like, man, he's gone. Mitchell said. And I just see KJ. Coming from outside and he's moving faster than everybody on the field, I think that was kind of a vindictive moment, but honestly that's just KJ. That's how he plays. Hats off to him. He saved my tail right there. The defense got the ball back and we drove down and scored.